Hey there, friends. Meteorologist Shane Smith here with you, and I've got my friend Bray. That's my little dog. Say hi, Bray. Um, he's uh, helping us out today, uh, keeping an eye on the forecast, and it has changed a little bit since last night, so let's get right to it. Ice storm warnings are out for most of eastern Kentucky, extending back into central Kentucky. Winter storm warnings for northern Kentucky and western Kentucky and a little bit of a winter weather advisory through Bell, Harlan, and Letcher counties. And the reason this ice storm warning uh, has been expanded back to the northwest is because the forecast has changed. And the reason the forecast has changed is things are playing a little differently than what we were expecting. I want to show you the current radar, and I've also got a uh, surface pressure on there. Now, this is not something we show very often. But when we put that surface pressure on there, we're looking at the atmospheric pressure. And uh, when you hear us talk about low and high pressure, this is what we're looking at. Well, this is an area of low pressure just to the southeast of New Orleans. Here's what's throwing the wrench in the forecast. Notice this um, extenditure of it into Mississippi and Alabama. That was not originally forecast. The computer models were not showing that. This is real-time data. This is what's happening right now. Here was the model forecast from the GFS last night for this time right now. And notice it doesn't have that extenditure there. So you're saying, okay, Shane, what does that mean? Well, that means that area of low pressure is actually about 75 miles farther north than we thought it was going to be. And it's extending further north. It's a little bit more spread out, not as compact. When you get that kind of a change, it really changes the forecast. Because one thing you have to realize with computer model forecasting, when you're looking at it, it's like a math equation. It says if A, B, and C happens, then X, Y, and Z happens. Well, in this case, we changed the atmospheric pressure. We changed the A in the equation. So that's why the forecast has changed. Now, how that's affecting the forecast is that is bringing in more warm air especially along the Virginia border and more warm air in the mid-levels of the atmosphere. Notice we are already above freezing in Middlesbrough and Harlan. That was not the original forecast, but because that low is farther north, we're getting a little bit more southerly flow. It is dragging warm air farther north. So that is what's caused the change in the forecast. You can see rain and snow getting ready to cross the border, move into Southern Kentucky. I don't think the impacts from this storm have changed much unless you're down along the Virginia border, which they're lesser. But everywhere else in the state, still looking at significant ice and snow, it's just changed a little bit. Here is my updated forecast. So Virginia border counties, we're looking at mainly rain, some minor ice. That line on the northern edge still to be determined, but that's the best guess right now. To the northwest of that, full-on ice storm. Quarter inch to three quarters of an inch of ice. It's going to be nasty. Northwest of that, one to four inches of snow with a little bit of ice and sleet mixed in. That makes it really hard to forecast exactly how much snow because we talked about before that sleet and freezing rain cuts down on snow. I still, still think Cincinnati, Louisville, and just west of Bowling Green are looking four to eight inches. And Western Kentucky, where you're down into the lower teens and single digits right now, I think your snow ratios uh, may be a little underdone by some of the models. I'm keeping you six to 12. Uh, inches of snow out there. Now, wanted to point out real quick on our Kentucky Mesonet site down in Harlan County on the top of Black Mountain. Already 42 degrees. So right now, the warmest spot in the state of Kentucky is in Harlan County on top of Black Mountain. And that just shows you at 4,000 feet, that warm air is coming in and it's coming in strong. Southwest wind at 10 miles per hour helping to trigger that. We go back to Science Hill in Pulaski County. We've got a northeast wind at the surface at 1,000 feet and a temperature of 23. So that just shows you how things change in the different layers of the atmosphere um, and why this forecast is really complicated and is just a real headache to try to figure out. So let's take you into the future uh, using the uh, high-resolution rapid refresh model. It's showing the freezing rain moving into the state over the next couple hours, especially heavy from Somerset up to Lexington, up to Moorhead, back over towards Maysville. Um, by this afternoon, 4 o'clock, we're talking heavy sleet, Bowling Green, Lexington, 
Heavy Snow, Paducah, Louisville, Covington. Um, and that system, notice that low pressure. It's farther north than we were originally expecting. That's why things have changed. The center of the low may actually graze eastern Kentucky, which would help generate more rain there and push that ice further north. And then everything should wrap up after midnight. But I suspect we're going to continue to see a little bit of freezing drizzle, especially in eastern Kentucky, like we have the last couple of days. Here's the latest forecast models. Uh, the GFS uh, morning run really cut down the snow on eastern Kentucky and even all the way up into central Kentucky. It's showing uh, most of it in northern and western Kentucky. Uh, the NAM even further west, the HRRR, uh, similar to the GFS, but a little bit heavier. Ice forecast, about a half inch for Somerset, Lexington, uh, up towards Ashland, a little bit more on the HRRR. I hope that doesn't play out because we do not want a inch of snow in Rock Castle County, uh, back over towards Lincoln County, up into uh, uh, Estill County, Madison County, over towards Campton Stanton. That, that would not be good. Um, and then... Uh, about two-thirds an inch showing up in Somerset and points to the northeast on the NAM model. So there you have it. That's how the forecast has changed. That's why it's changed. Um, we'll continue to keep an eye on things. I'll have an update later tonight, probably a little later than normal, probably after 8 or 9 o'clock because I teach a uh, college class on Mondays. Um, but this will talk about how this storm is wrapping up and what may happen with the next storm which now looks like it could impact us on Wednesday into Thursday. So a lot to talk about. Keep it here. Hit that like button if you like this video. The more important button, subscribe if you're enjoying the content. And uh, we'll continue to keep you updated about Kentucky weather. We're covering the Commonwealth here on the Kentucky Weather Vlog.